It's that time of year where everyone is in the Christmas spirit. Look at this Christmas tree. Look at all these presents. Look at that Shrek mask. I am a jolly person right now. But one thing that doesn't make me jolly is when other YouTubers, specifically ones that I watch and actually enjoy their content, come under attack from YouTube itself. Now, I know a lot of people have made videos ribbing on YouTube. I am incredibly guilty of that. I have made dozens of videos saying YouTube did noopsie. YouTube did a bad thing. But what's happening recently is really strange. There seems to be a string of YouTube who are getting their videos demonetized, taken down, age restricted. Now, if you open Twitter right now, which you probably shouldn't, you probably shouldn't, but I'm just giving an example. No one's exactly going to post about this on Instagram. You will see a lot of YouTubers talking about how they've had their videos messed with by YouTube. And this is a really weird situation because it does actually have a resolution. And surprisingly, YouTube have actually admitted fault. Which, by the way, is something that YouTube basically never do. Getting an apology from YouTube is like trying to get an apology from an actual YouTuber. It will never happen. Like, for example, Bird, a YouTuber that uploaded a video, and he basically said that his video had pornographic content. Now, I was a bit apprehensive of this at first. You know, I don't really watch the YouTuber Bird. Maybe he pulls out his schlong and just starts doing like helicopters with it halfway through the video. I don't know. But then it basically came out that the pornographic content in question was him basically swearing. And that was like 50 minutes into the video as well, which is really bizarre because the way YouTube works at the minute, you're not really allowed to swear within the first, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute, maybe two minutes. That's why, for example, you'll see Minecraft streamers or YouTubers not say a single swear word until it reaches the two minute mark. And then they just use insane amounts of profanity. It's a very weird system that YouTube has. It's almost like they're trying to get the advertisers and be like, well, they don't swear in the opening. So it's a family friendly website, almost as if like someone is watching scouring thousands of videos a day. They don't see any swearing until they skip like two minutes in. But yeah, for an entire video to get shut down because someone swore like 50 minutes into the video. Now from that example alone, we can't exactly discern. Maybe it was a false report. Maybe it was an error with YouTube itself. To be 50 minutes into a video and then hear a swear word, like for example, my videos, the videos that I put on the main channel that are like four hours long, most people don't usually watch the video. What they'll do instead is sleep to it, which is, I mean, you know, fair enough. Or they'll have something else on in the background. Like for example, you know, they'll, they'll be studying, they'll be gaming, and then they'll pull it up on the second monitor because basically everyone in current year has some form of ADHD. And I get that, it's okay. I get the views regardless. What I actually wanna try and do for the next main channel video is upload the entire video with a black screen. There will still be audio. There will be no visuals whatsoever. It will just be a black screen. And if it gets a similar amount of views to the other videos, then my point is proven. But yeah, me, for example, like I do swear in my videos. It's not like someone, you know, watching a four hour video on Cruelty Squad, they go to bed and then they've woken up at three in the morning. D -d Did someone say piss? Did someone say piss and, and, and come? That's obviously not the case. I mean, I have had examples myself where videos have been age restricted. If you don't know what an age restriction is, it basically means the video is that unsuitable for anyone under the age of 18 that they can't view it. Now, this doesn't sound like too much of a problem because like every website on earth, kids lie about their age. Like for example, like I did, you know, when you made a YouTube account when I was like 13 or something, I lied about my age so I could get past the filters. Everyone does that. It's a normal thing. But the main problem is when your video gets age gated, what actually happens is YouTube stops recommending it because you can be a huge fan of a YouTuber. You can wait for every upload. You can, you can turn on subscriptions with the notification bell. Notification gang, am I right? But that really has nothing to do with anything. You could have a diehard loyal audience, but unfortunately, YouTube recommended rules the day. Like that is where you get 80 to 90% of all your views from. And if YouTube plucks you out of recommended, that's it. The video will fall off. And being age gated does do that. A good example here is Yahi Mice. And also shout outs to him because he basically bought me this entire story and actually told me about all these YouTubers that were being, you know, unfairly punished by YouTube. He uploaded a video that was age gated. Now you think it's age gated? What could it be? Maybe there was some mummy milkers. Maybe he was playing Leisure Suit Larry. Maybe he was playing Lethal Company in a random lobby where everyone's just like spamming slurs. Nope. He uploaded a video called The Dumbest Roblox Games. And Yahi then did pretty much what all YouTubers do and appeal the decision. Now, appealing a decision from YouTube is basically playing Russian roulette, but out of the six chambers that are loaded, it's like five and a half. So usually, unfortunately, in a lot of cases, unless you have like a network contact or someone that can escalate your choice, you are not gonna get that video overturned. But thankfully, the YouTube gods looked down on Yahi and they said, my sweet summer child, how could you be so punished? It's simply Roblox at the end of the day. Bring the video back. So so a few hours later, they overturned the video. There was no age restriction. But then the problem you have is even though it's back, the video's back in the algorithm, it has stunted it insanely. 
It has stunted the video more than giving your first child Everclear instead of breast milk. Because as you can see here on the graph, it just, it, it completely fell off. Now, this is a thing that's been going on for quite a while. I mean, all the way back in September 2022, the ancient year of 2022, there was a YouTuber called Summoning Salt, and all he did was upload a video playing Mega Man 2, you know, the child side-scroller game that is literally rated E for everyone. Well, he got hit with a age restriction, and then he appealed it, and they turned around and said, no, you know what, actually, it does violate the guidelines. There is, there is an insane amount of sex and nudity in Mega Man 2, as we all know. Just look up the Mega Man sex scene for yourself. Believe me, to any Mega Man 2 fans out there, you do not want to see what happens once Air Man starts spinning up those turbines. It gets messy. You know what? I like being hydrated. I like drinking water. The problem is, when you drink a lot of water, you get a bit bored of it. And usually when I get bored of water, maybe I'll swap over to a soft drink. But look at all those E-numbers. Asparatame. Huh? Th there's a bunch of scary studies about that chemical. If only there was a drink in existence that was fun to drink. It was flavored, but it didn't actually contain any additives, chemicals, or artificial flavors. Well, thankfully, the sponsor for today's video is Aerop. Now, I'm not joking when I say Aerop is one of the best investments I've ever bought. Yes, I am being paid to say that, but on a real one, genuinely, this has helped me a lot. Because I sit on my ass for so long, many hours, playing video games and sometimes making videos, I'll be drinking on water all day, but usually, at a certain point, I'll get really bored of it. But at the same time, I don't really want to turn over to soft drinks or anything caffeinated or something with a bunch of scary numbers on the ingredients label. And that's why Aerop stands out, because it is just water. All you have to do is fill up an Aerop bottle with just plain water and then you add one of these luxury flavor pods. Now, originally, when I was doing some research on the company, I thought that if you put one of these flavor pods in, it would inject some kind of like syrup into the drink, like a squash. But what it does, and it really is just amazing, it basically activates your senses. So when you drink the water, you're still just drinking water, but you can actually smell the flavor profile of whatever pod you put on. So it tastes like whatever you're smelling. It is really hard to explain, and it sounds very weird. But for example, I've got this peach iced tea, which is really really nice and if i just sip on it it really is just normal water but it tastes like peach iced tea because i'm getting the smell at the same time and it's basically tricking my brain into thinking hey you're drinking peach iced tea but again with none of the additives sugars preservatives artificial sweeteners nothing it really is just water and like i said for someone that's sat on my ass for an incredibly long period of time i do like to drink water i need to drink water and this stops water from being boring there are over 15 different flavor pods that you can just slop Slop. There are over 15 different flavors that you can easily pop on top of your Aero cup. And if you just want normal water, but you really like the bottle, for example, this stainless steel one that actually keeps my water cold, I can just press the cap down, the flavor's gone, and it's just normal water. And because Aero is so nice, they're actually right now doing a run of three limited edition bundles. So between now and the 26th of December, you can save up to 30% on your first Aero package. Use the link down in the description to get yourself 30% off your first Aero package. And I mean, come on, I mean, Come on, I have a Christmas tree behind me. It is the season to be giving. And again, I do want to say, I know this sounds like such a weird shill, basically flavored water, but it's not flavored. But this thing has been such a lifesaver where I'm pulling like 12 hour shifts, researching, scripting, editing videos. Because I'm sure we've all been there where we're on like our sixth cup of coffee and then we start tweaking and we need something, something natural. And that's exactly where Aerop comes in. So thank you Aerop for sponsoring this video. Now, these are just a couple of cases of YouTubers getting a pretty unfair age gate, limited ads, what would happen if, like, your entire catalogue of videos were to get hit? Well, that's exactly what happened to the YouTuber Lithero, who had 21 videos in a row all age restricted. Now, I've gone through these videos myself, and a lot of these are just stream highlights. I mean, there is some swearing and stuff, but not until like way deeper into the video. Funnily enough, the majority of these videos for the first couple of minutes, usually where YouTube checks if you're, you know, swearing or not, or flashing your schlong off, it's usually just a static screen saying starting soon because, you know, he's getting the stream set up. Wait, light throw, starting soon? What are you, what are you, what are you starting soon? You're having a little tug, buddy. No, no, that's, that's, we're going to age gate that. Sorry, that's, that's too much. This is even happening to veteran YouTubers, like, for example, Angry Video Game Nerd, who has recently uploaded a compilation of, like, you know, season one of all the content he made, but it's censored. And if you've watched Angry Video Game Nerd, you're probably in your 30s. But at the same time, his content is basically built around swearing. So I actually used to watch the occasional video of him, I think like six, seven years ago. But at the same time, I did also unironically watch Nostalgia Critic six to seven years ago. 
Oh, that was that was a difficult one to get out of my system. Jesus. There's a tweet here from Ryan basically saying, reminder that YouTube age restricted a four hour Mario video that has a handful of cuss words and claimed vulgar language. While there's people who actively committed crimes and got a wrist slap. Obviously, they're like, you know, throwing a little shade at Sniper Wolf. Now, one thing I do have to say about the swearing, because swearing is usually why a video will get age gated. You can swear after like the first two minutes or so in a video. But apparently, if you repeatedly say cuss words or swear words, gee, I said cuss. Oh, why do Americans talk like that, man? That's so corny. Cuss word. Like, for example, if I said balls, 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 that's probably fine. But then if I said that will probably get this video age gated and yeah i just kind of realized i made noopsy there basically you're allowed to swear after a certain period of time in the video but you can't like repeatedly do it and there are also some words that you just cannot say like for example which i've had to censor right now because i am not joking that word if you could read my lips you probably know what it means that that is apparently one of the worst words you can ever say on the internet, and it will instantly get any video age gated. It literally says in the talking points on how to monetize a video on YouTube, you say the word, you will never get ads. Now, the biggest irony about all this, a lot of YouTubers being caught in this like huge fishnet unfairly. Well, how do YouTubers make their money? If it's not from brand deals, it's from ads on YouTube. And as we all know, a lot of these ads on YouTube, they are a, a, a complete mess. Now, YouTube ads originally, they basically cater to whoever watches the content. If a video gets, for example, age gated, it will only show ads for 18 plus products, like for example, beer. But despite that, if you have a video that's green, completely got ads on it, you will still get borderline pornographic ads. So here's an example of an ad that you can get on YouTube if your video is fully monetized and has no problems whatsoever. There can't be a more humiliating sentence for a guy. Coming from a girl he just shared the bed with, Women across the world chase big because bigger is always better. Now, obviously, when they're talking about big, they're talking about the size of the man's house because, you know, women want to marry into wealth, maybe. So at the minute, it's not really, it's not, I understand why this ad could run anywhere on YouTube. It makes complete sense. Uh, just ignore this phallic, quite phallic picture down here in the corner. While she may be happy with you, deep down, she's definitely in love with big. Average Sean measures five and a half inches. But Maybe it's just five and a half inches of his wallet. Maybe he's got a big wallet with all those credit cards and banknotes. Come on, guys. What, what, I, I don't know why everyone needs to turn everything into something sexual. Big is at least eight inches. Only one in a hundred men are sized big. What's your number? If it's under eight inches, stop. I'm really trying hard to not make a fat joke right now, but I know that will be the biggest case of friendly fire imaginable. I'm, I'm really trying to find anything else to talk about right now. Everything you are doing right now and watch this video. In this short video, my friend Ryan, who is a world famous adult movie star, teaches you- An adult movie star? Right, so you're talking about size of a Johnson and an adult movie star. Okay, guys, maybe he's just like in 18 plus films. Maybe it's just M-rated films. Maybe it's Joaquin Phoenix from The Joker. Maybe it's just like violent films. Doesn't mean it's porn you the exact technique he used to grow from under five and a half inches to over eight inches. This technique <laughs> works for men of all age and size. <laughs> this this sounds like the cope where like people are trying to get taller. Guys, just work out every day, eat flax seeds, you'll be all right. No pumps, no pills. This technique is the real deal. If you have two hands and a john, then this technique will help you grow longer, thicker, and harder in size and girth in just 30 days. Okay, I'm kind of running out of material here, but as you can see, this is very obviously a ad to make your p bigger. And they're using a lot of, you know, different terms like, uh, it's, it's not a p it's a Johnson, or it's, it's not bigger, it's girthier. But it, it's just pretty obvious. In fact, this technique is so effective that your girl will be able to feel a difference within a day of your practicing. I guarantee you that after using this technique, you'll be able to make your girl like Mount Vesuvius. Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. I know we were using a lot of different analogies there, but you just straight up said it. Oh no, don't worry though, don't worry. They actually censored the word, even though she said it out loud. Oh, that's fine. That's fine, advertisement. That's not a problem. Interrupting. She'll quiver and quake in bed like you might have what? only seen in an adult movie. What, why is she reading it like a TikTok voice? She sounds so uninterested. Uh, she will like quiver in the bed and like... Dude, the bed will be shaking. That's like so cool. This technique is an adult movie industry secret, and a lot of wealthy people from the industry want to take down this video for spilling their secret. So No, I think YouTubers want to take it down because this is allowed to be put on like any YouTube video. 
despite the fact that when a YouTuber says like piss balls less than 30 seconds into the video, they lose all their money. Watch this video now before it gets taken down. I assure you this technique will make you feel like an adult movie star yourself. So watch this free video before it's gone. Oh, I'm alright, I'm gay. Now to carry on with this like mini adpocalypse, there were other YouTubers that I actually frequently watched that were hit pretty hard. For example, Russian Badger. Now Russian Badger makes some great content. He basically is like a funny moments YouTuber. He, you know, collects a bunch of footage with his friends goofing around, but he goes that next level by building structure to a video. And on top of that as well, he's actually bought a mocap suit that I think was like $50,000 or something. So he could actually reenact everything himself. And he's actually gone on to say that he has no team. He has no editors. He makes everything himself and he uploaded a video talking about rainbow six siege and that video was actually age gated now what i want to do right now is watch the first 60 seconds of russian badger's video because usually that's where youtube looks to age gate content if it's you know inherently bad for kids so let's have a little look here we're gonna pretend to be a youtube rep and just go through everything Rainbow Six Siege is a game where you try to defuse bombs. If you touch the diffuser, I'm breaking your fingers. Do not touch the diffuser. <laughs> <laughs> At least it was at one point. I guess now it's about hamster sh Hmm. There's an anime character there. Strike one. Strike one. Three strikes, he's out. Hamster Chief's fighting aliens in a Gucci tracksuit? I don't know. Oh, you're looking kind of fresh, though. It's also a game that changed my entire life. I used to be in my rent with Siege. I used to travel the world. Hmm. Hmm. That, that looks quite phallic. That hot dog character, that's quite phallic. Strike two. Strike two. I used to travel the world for C. It was really just Canada, mm. but it technically is international travel. I even got to dumpster Lil Yachty with my homie T-Pain. Wait, dumpster little... Wait, did you just imply you killed someone? Yep, that's strike three. I totally understand. I totally understand YouTube's decision now. But as you can see, though, watching that video, like, he, he did nothing wrong. Like, there's not even any swearing in the beginning. Th there's no violence. I think, like, the most violent thing is saying he was gonna, like, he dumpstered little Yatty in a six siege tournament where he physically puts a PNG of him in a dumpster. Oh, it's so, it's so violent. Now, myself, I have had videos that were age-gated, like, way deep into the video, but the reasons behind that actually, you know, surprisingly gonna make a concession, I kind of understand it. Like, for example, my Cry of Fear video. Now, that dealt with some very heavy topics, you know, like self-harm, suicide. It's a very violent game with very, you know, heavy themes. So I had to be very careful about how I talked about the topics to not get it age-gated. But despite that, I wanted to show every single scene in the game. And there was a scene in the game where a character was getting his head cut off with a saw and decapitated. The video was age-gated because of that. But when I got the notification, I had no idea what I did wrong. So I I have two options. I talk to my manager to message YouTube or I go onto Twitter and then cry about it and hope that YouTube tells me why it got age gated. Now, thankfully, I was able to get in contact with YouTube and they basically said it was because of that decapitation scene. I said, fair enough. If I blur it out, will the video be okay? They said, yes, I complied and the video is back in the algorithm. But the problem we have here, which is what we've had for like half a decade now, if you want to get a problem resolved with YouTube, you have to cry publicly on Twitter. And no one likes Twitter. I, I'm not, I'm not going to get into it. I know that no one likes Twitter. Twitter is this amazing anomaly where both like the left and the right and everyone in between, they all absolutely despise the website, which to be fair, I got to give credit because it somehow brings everyone together into hating one single entity. But if I didn't have Twitter or if I didn't have a manager that actually knew contacts at YouTube, I'd be screwed. I, I wouldn't know what to do. Usually, if you get a video age-gated or demonetized, you'd appeal it. And if they deny it, that's it. You do not get another try. Now, there are ways you can get past that process by kind of knowing someone at YouTube, which is why you'll see a lot of popular YouTubers still manage to get a video under turn. Because unfortunately, like a lot of places in the industry, you do need that insider contact. And that's just it's stupid. I get it. There are hundreds of thousands of people uploading content onto YouTube every day and YouTube just simply cannot accommodate everyone. That's why they created these weird little barriers. Like for example, you need X amount of viewers or subs to even start monetizing your videos. But that being said, being at 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, 10,000, 100,000, or even a million, you might still have the same problems being at a million subscribers than if you had 1,000 subscribers. Because at the end of the day, it really is just all about being as networked as possible. Now, circling back to Yahi Mice, again, shout out 
out to him because he did bring me a lot of these YouTubers. He actually had a live chat with YouTube. Now, I do want to say having a live chat with YouTube support is one of the worst things imaginable. It's not even YouTube support, it's Google support because as you know, Google own YouTube. So going onto the support with them, usually you're dealing with some kind of like Mark Zuckerberg bot or someone that learned English about seven seconds ago and they're using Google Translate. Now, Yahi actually talked to Google support and whoever they talked to, bless them because they were actually surprisingly helpful, even using, you know, nice little emojis. They basically went on to say that there was no issue with the video whatsoever, which is an amazing concession to make. And without directly admitting it, because, you know, if the person that Yahi was talking to admitted that YouTube was at fault, they'd probably be kicked out. They basically said without saying it that it went through our machine learning and the machine learning got it wrong. They, they didn't admit that. They didn't admit that. They just explained the process for some reason, as if Yahi, someone who's been uploading for like, you know, the best part of a decade, has no idea how YouTube works. But they're obviously saying that it went through the machine learning and they did a major oopsie. But yeah, that's probably why you'll see over the Christmas... But yeah, that's probably why you'll see over the holiday period, like so many YouTubers getting age-restricted, demonetized. It's really bizarre. It has hit me a couple of times as well, but thankfully I seem to have escaped most of it. But honestly, guys, do we need to upload onto YouTube? Let's just... Let's just go back to VidMe. Mmm. <laughs>